there. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda. Today we're going to be working on a DIY fall rustic farmhouse fabric pumpkin. We'll be mainly using and focusing on supplies from enablecase.com, so let's get started. We're going to need two pieces of fabric. We're going to have a rectangle pumpkin that's going to be 10 inches tall and 13 inches wide. Once we get that cut out, my fabric is directional, so I'm going to cut out some strips here, but if you do not have directional fabric, you're going to need one long strip at 33 inches in length and two and a half inches wide. If your fabric is directional, you're going to need to cut out two strips like I'm doing here at 10 inches in length, two and a half inches wide, and then one long strip at 13 inches in length and two and a half inches wide. Again, you're only cutting these separate if your fabric is directional. And then you're going to need to cut a stem. I just freehanded a stem and it's about four inches in uh, tall and two and a half inches in length. Get that cut out. You need two pieces. All right, and then we're going to start assembling. Now, if you do not want to use the strips, whether you're a hot gluer or a sewer, toss those to the side. All right, make sure you put your fabric right sides together. So for hot gluing here, we're going to jump back and forth a little bit. Go ahead and pin in a little bit so that you set your stem in the center and pin in so that you're about oh, an inch away from either side of the stem. And then if you're a hot gluer, you're going to go start from your pin, glue all the way down the sides, the bottom, other side, and back up and stop at your pin. Okay. And then for your stem for uh, hot gluing, you're just going to glue all the way around the side, the top, and the other side, and leave your bottom edge open. All right, now if you're going to use the strips, I'm going to start again. If you're a hot gluer, and hopefully I don't get confusing on this, if you're doing one long strip, you skip this step. If you've got three strips like I do, again, because directional fabric, glue one short strip to your long strip. Okay, if you're a hot gluer and you have three pieces here like I do, just hot glue along the one short edge. Okay, and then go ahead and add your other short piece to the other end of the long strip. I'm going to pin it here because I'm going to sew it. Again, if you're a hot gluer, hot glue that edge. All right, again, if you have one long strip, you totally skip all that. And then you're just going to take this to your sewing machine if you're a sewer and stitch those ends together. So now we have one long strip. Okay, now we're going to take it to our pumpkin. We're going to take the strip and get it to our pumpkin, of course. So we're going to start on the short edge, and I'm going to go ahead and pin this together. We're going to just do one side at a time. And I'm doing this strip because since it's a rectangle pumpkin, I'll come back to that thought in a minute, you're going to glue that edge. Okay, then you're going to flip this and you got to get your corners together. So you're going to kind of twist your fabric, pull up where you might have sewn or your long strip, kind of make a little triangle, fold it over to the side temporarily so that your little corners meet. Okay? I hope you can see here better than I'm explaining it maybe. And then just go ahead and pin it. I'm making this strip back to that thought because since this is rectangle, I want my pumpkin to set up a little better. And by having this strip, it's almost like a strip, you know, the edge around your purse. It sets up better if you've got that, you know, better strength. All right, so this is all pinned. You're going to hot glue this one long end, okay, if you're a hot gluer. Now we're going to turn it again. Again, we're going to kind of pull up that section there so that our corners meet and we're going to pin it. Just like that. And then again, if you're a hot gluer, you're going to hot glue along that short edge. We're going to take it to our sewing machine. You're going to sew your short end. And when you get down to that corner piece, kind of pull up and adjust on that fold so that it doesn't get caught in the stitches. Okay, you're just going to pull it up and shift it a little bit. Maybe kind of shift that little triangular piece kind of over to the other side and then continue sewing around, okay? Then you're going to get to the other little corner piece, kind of flip that little triangle piece over to the other side and continue sewing all the way around. All right, we're going to pull the pins out here so you can see what it looks like. See, we just have a nice little cornered edge there all the way around. 
perfect. That's just going to give us our stability so that our pumpkin doesn't keep falling over. Now we're going to attach the other side. We're going to do the exact same process. Pin your short sides together. Make sure you have your edges even. Right sides of your fabric are all together so that when you're pinning here, all you see is the yucky side of the fabric. The wrong side is what we call it. Get that pinned if you're a hot gluer. Of course, you're again do just like the other side. You're going to hot glue that short edge. All right, one little edge at a time is going to make it easy. This will be a little easier kind of combining our edges a little bit, combining that corner. It's going to be a little easier, but you're still going to kind of have that little fold. Fold it over there so that you can match up your corners. Now we're on the long side, of course. Get it pinned closed. It's going to be a little easier even for hot gluing if you pin it. Hot glue that long side. Then you're going to turn it around. We're almost done with this part. You're going to match your corners together. Remember, kind of have a little fold there. Just kind of fold it over to the side there to match your corners. Pin it down again. This is the most tedious part. The rest is fun. You're going to hot glue that edge. And of course, if you're a sewer, you're going to take the sewing machine and do the exact same thing as we did on the other side making sure you kind of adjust and move that fold at the corner out of the way so you don't sew it funny. All right, take your pins all out. Now we're going to turn this right side and we have our little rectangular pumpkin with our reinforced sides here that will stand up nice and straight. Now I didn't add strips at the top because I wanted to make it a little bit easy. Here's what we're going to do. Turn your pumpkin wrong side out again and just fold it in just like you see here and pin it. Okay, if you were a hot gluer, I'll show you here. Take this, fold it inward. Okay, if you're a hot gluer, you're going to fold right in. Let me grab my hot glue gun here. Open that up a little bit. You're going to fold it in and you're going to hot glue right along that top edge and close it. Okay, but if you're a hot gluer, you also have to kind of open that back up again. I'm going to go ahead and pin here where I need to on the stem so I know where to keep that open. All right, you want to leave an opening. All right, so if you're hot gluing, come back to this edge. You've hot glued the center together, right? Showing you that again. And then you need to hot glue the inside where we folded it in there. See how that inside is going to be open on either side of where we folded it in. So you've got to hot glue it there and then you've got to hot glue it on this other edge as well so that you close that whole edge there. If you're a sewer, you folded those edges in and you're just going to sew to both all the way to the pin on the one side, leaving that opening for your stem and turn it around and sew all the way to the pin on the other side, leaving the opening for the stem and then turn it inside out once it's done. You've got that opening as you can see here where my hand is and kind of poke out your corners. The top's going to look a little funny. It's just going to kind of have a fold over in there, but that's just kind of the way I wanted to do it versus adding another strip at the top. So you can see how it kind of folds up a little bit and we're going to add our stem, cut off the corners a little bit so you can turn it inside out. And then we're going to stuff everything. I'm using a little chopstick here. I found these at Walmart, a little bag of them. They're great because they have a, a pointy end, but not too pointy. I've had um, some that are so pointy, like a skewer stick, and it's so pointy it pokes through the fabric. So this is a nice kind of blunt pointy end. Just stuff your stem as thick as you want it, and then again, stuff your pumpkin as stiff as you want it as well. I'll just kind of start out here a little bit showing you, and then we'll come back with it all nice and stuffed. And I usually stuff mine pretty full. All right, here we are back all stuffed. We're going to get our stem in the middle. So now I'm just going to, using Beacon Fabri-Tac glue today, I'm just going to glue all on the stuffing and at the bottom and shove it right down in the center of the pumpkin. And then we need to close it. So I'm going to glue, and you can hot glue here, of course. I'm going to glue kind of one side at a time, just right at the stem. I'm leaving the sides open for right now because I want to get my stem in secure. Flip the pumpkin around and then glue right at the stem on the fabric and press it right up against that stem. 
Now we're doing the sides. I'm adding on one side at a time, just gluing right on the edge of the fabric there, a little bit on the stem, and I'm gonna pinch it close, and I'm gonna actually take a mini clothespin, and I'm gonna pinch it with the mini clothespin. If you're looking here at the left, you can see the little clothespin there. Doing the same thing on this other side, little clothespin, pinch it close, and I just let it sit for about 10 minutes till it's all nice and dry. Now we're going to start decorating. I'm going to use grapevine wire here, and I just kind of wrap it around the stem, adding a little bit of the glue, just in a couple of spots. I'm going to use some Excelsior here now as well. I'm going to add that right at the base of the stem going to be a lot of stuff going on our cute pumpkin today. This is some actual fencing wire. We have a roll of rusty old fence wire uh, at our house. I told my husband I didn't want to throw it away because I actually cut off of it adding every now and then. So a little fence wire there. This is some wired rope. I'm going to just kind of shape it. I'm going to glue that on as well. This is just some uh, burlap ribbon from my supply. We're going to make a little bow here and glue that on. And then this is some actual strip of burlap ribbon and some mesh tubing. This is Renee Bouquet's Beautiful Board Laser Cut Chipboard. This is a twisted chain frame. They come in a set of three. I'm using the small size, gluing it right under that bow there, and then adding the burlap with the mesh tubing right over the top, and then adding a little sisal here. And gluing that right over the top. This is just a flower from Dollar Tree. I just love the shade of it. Thought it matched really well. Just kind of gluing that on. This is a stem from Dollar Tree as well. Just gluing that on there. Cute little pumpkin stem and leaf. These are just some sticks I've got. They're kind of black and orange sticks. Just Halloween decorative stuff uh, in my supply. And I'm just mixing quite a few of them here. I'm going to glue them in on one side and the other. Gluing the other side. Just tucking them in and spreading them out. These are just some floral stems and pit berries I'm gonna be gluing in as well. These are all from my supply. Some things come from Dollar Tree and some from you know the main craft stores. All these different elements I'm kind of tucking in here right at first. It's gonna look nice and full and rustic and farmhouse. This is just some really kind of paper covered wire I'm adding in. Now I've got a uh, wood slice here and I've traced around the wood slice and then about an eighth of an inch in, I redrew the circle for a new perimeter, cut that out, sewed along the edges, and now when I glue it on, you'll be able to see a little bit of the wood slice around the corner. These are Renee Bouquet Mulberry Flowers, gorgeous flowers. They are dark brown roses. I'm gonna use some of these in our uh, project today. And don't worry, all the product I'm using from Renee Bouquet's I will have listed in the description box for you with links to those product. A couple roses on one side, a couple on the other. These are Renee Bouquet Beautiful Board Laser Cut Chipboard, a set of 23 fall tuck-ins. Just showing a few from the set. Using one of the larger pieces, I'm going to tuck that in. This is just a little uh, fall ephemera, little tag I'm tucking in as well. And then we'll go ahead and glue down the wood slice. These are a set of four quilling flourishes, Renee Bouquet Beautiful Board Laser Cut Chipboard. I'm just putting one in on one side. These are called pumpkin patch. They come two to each piece. You have a back piece and the front piece. They come in all different sizes. These are the different sizes. I'm using the small size, the small set for today, and I'm just gluing that back piece to the front. Love these new Renee Bouquet Beautiful Board Laser Cut Chipboard Pumpkins. Love, love, love them. And I'm going to tuck that right under the roses. This is Beautiful Words from Renee Bouquet's it says Sweet as Sugar phrase. I'm using the word sweet from the set. And then I've got just these plastic letters I'll be using as well, as well as this little quote that says thankful for you and a tiny clothespin. I'm going to attach to the quote and the Beautiful Board Beautiful Word from Renee Bouquet's going to glue on the letters and then by the time it's done our cute little phrase will say sweet fall thankful for you. Now if you didn't have letters like this you could use sticker letters or uh, something like that rub on letters. You could print out something from your computer to make your you know rest of your words rest of your title I guess sweet fall is kind of the title. So you could use the sweet from Renee Bouquet's and print out the fall uh, from your computer, be really cute. 
print it out on your paper before you glue it onto the wood slice would be an option. Adding a cute little acorn right in here. And then I've got some really thin twine, two pieces I tie into a bow. And then some brown twine here as I tied into a bow as well. And I'm tucking them right under that flower and just kind of right around the edge. And then this is a word, a wood word. It says noted, and I just used Dixie Belle chalk paint and chocolate and painted it brown so it matched. This is Renee Bouquet Tiny Treasure Butterfly called Harmony. Gorgeous color, so I'm tucking that in as well. And now I'm going to add some glitter glass to the project. I'm using my 3D map gel, and this is uh, Renee Bouquet's Chunky Glitter Glass in Diamond. And what I do is I just take my paintbrush, dip it into the matte gel. You could use a clear glue. I would not suggest anything that isn't clear. And then I pour on my glitter glass and tap it off. And then once this is done, this project is complete. Well, I really hope you enjoyed the project that we did today. Let me know down in the comments, do you like the shape of this pumpkin? I would be curious to know. I wanted to just stray from the normal round shape, give it a little bit more of a whimsical touch, but still carry the farmhouse rustic type of feel to it, which was totally easy to do from product from ReneeBouquets.com. As I stated earlier, I will have all that product and the links listed down below if you want to go check things out, as well as other Renee Bouquet links, including the Renee Bouquet Artist with an Edge Facebook group, where you can come and join and gain inspiration and share inspiration with your project using product from ReneeBouquets.com. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, please go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any more videos from me. Come follow me on Instagram, on my blog, on Pinterest. I do have a Facebook group below as well. You can come follow me there. I thank you for sharing your time with me, and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye.